What's going on guys? Wow, this is the second time I'm recording this video. I completely forgot to turn on my microphone. But anyway, I'm here for it. Let's do this. I had some juicy analysis before. I'll have some juicy analysis once again. <laughs> As you can see, I was jotting down some notes here. So I'm going to start from scratch, go to the bare minimum, and redo all of my charting for the most part. And I want to get down to crisp, simple fundamentals and slowly build up my case as to why we are pumping to the upside. All right, so like I said before a couple days ago, we broke this long-standing yearly resistance. I would say it's 20 days short of a year. Okay, so let me go back to that fateful day November 21st, 2021. I'm sorry, November 10th of 2021. Went all the way down. Dumping, 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 dumping. If you just were shorting the market for the past year, you were making money. Okay? Like, simple. Could have just held a long... I'm not a long. You just could have held a short position for a very long time and have done well. <laughs> um, but anyway, now we are in the... We are in a phase where we, I think we're truly in a situation where we're at a key point where the market has an opportunity to truly pivot. This long-standing resistance has been broken um, from a zoomed-in perspective, very, very zoomed-in perspective. Uh, you might not see this. You know, to the untrained eye, you might not be able to see this, but like we are looking at here some form of a higher low situation. Now, uh, candle close higher low on the daily. All right. So, this you could classify as pretty strong support. All right, good signs. Multiple wicks, trying to break through it, unsuccessful. Even back here as well, we've back tested it. And the bulls are winning at this time, at now, at this time. It is not definitive that we are gonna pump and break. But my, my base case theory right now is that this is a double bottom and we have a neck line, if you will, or a line of resistance here to break. Now, if the bulls can close a daily candle essentially above 20.3K, we can expect a measured move break out to the upside all the way up. roughly to 22.2 that's phenomenal very phenomenal now and this is a bullish engulfing candle right here what we're seeing today is a fat bullish candle so given we have strong support at 19.3k as long as price is hovering above 19.3k for the next week or so we can classify that um, as ratcheted support to the upside. Okay. Um, now, this is like more zoomed in. Now I'm going to zoom out. Why I feel so bullish right now. Um, once again, to the untrained eye, you might not see anything, but to me, this could very well be an Adam and Eve pattern. Adam and Eve patterns are macro bullish reversals. So you get a quick move to the downside, which we experienced all the way back in June, mid-June. And we had a immediate reaction, a pump to the upside, to then find true resistance which at the time is now 24.4 roughly 24.5k 
Then we broke down again, essentially creating some form of double bottom situation here. Now the Adam and Eve, um, the the bears have been trying for the past since August really, have been trying to break this price down more and more and more and more and more. It's not necessarily working. In the process of doing so, the bears had an opportunity to with to withhold this diagonal green line maintain it as resistance they failed they failed um and i spoke about this in the last video but not only did they fail now we have a bullish engulfing candle today okay these lead usually lead to continuation um, and I can even show you from the daily perspective, now moving to the Heikinashi candle, which is more so a momentum-based candle. Uh, we have not had, um, we still have wicks on the bottom, which indicates a weak trend. But um, now that's more so on the daily. Let me show you something more intraday. On the intraday level, we do have a flat bottom bullish engulfing candle. This usually indicates a strong trend to the upside. Okay, it's kind of like what we saw back here, right? Bears were trying. We had that. We had that base, and I could just use this scenario for example. We had that base, and as you can see, the bears tried to push price back down, and they were trying to close that candle below 19.1. Unsuccessful. Immediately got bought up, and then it became sideways. Then the bears realized, oh no. <laughs> We're unable to break it down. They closed their they closed their shorts, and the short squeeze ensued. So that has basically uh, what's been going down for the past uh, couple days. The bears have been trying like hell to break through this support, this green area zone, unsuccessful. Um, but also, uh, we're at a level where it's a uh, crunch time essentially for the for the bulls to close above 20.3k now the next uh, um basically usually these bullish engulfing candles they get back tested at the very least halfway through the through the candle so i, I wouldn't be surprised to see you know like a back test of 19.7 or something like that roughly now i'm now going to progress to the indicators okay on the daily perspective so from the tsi perspective we have successfully had um, higher lows. So we had a low, higher low, higher low, higher low, higher low, higher low. So we are having continued pushes to the upside on a daily level. And we're thick, we're thick in the um, blue in this case, which is a bullish color. Um, very, very good sign for the bulls. Now, as well, if you zoom out on market cipher indicator and by the way you can get the market cipher indicator in the description below if you wish um, it's a one-time fee but it's a very useful tool so as you can see here on the, the momentum waves on the daily perspective um, we are actually getting smaller waves to the uh, downside and we are getting uh, the money flow indicator so the blue waves just for perspective the blue waves are momentum and the red waves and the green waves that's money flow so this 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 tool is basically like like five tools in one it's very very simple and if you know trading view you're limited to the number of tools that you use so this tool is really like all you would need and maybe like some support and resistance indicators but anyway i digress here we are looking at money flow dissipating in terms of um, strength. Now, if you go to more intraday levels, say like the eight hour, for example, the waves are already to the upside and we're getting um, situations where we already had, we already printed our low and now we're getting higher lows. That's a very, very good sign if you are a bull if you're bullish now if you're a bear you should be afraid now if you go to the four hour the intraday level we are seeing green money flow that just means there are significantly more buyers than sellers at this time so it's easier essentially for traders or 
investors um, to push the price up. So now it's harder for the bears to push the price down. It's easier for the bulls to push the price up. So that's essentially what's going down, hence the short squeeze. Look at this. In a matter of eight hours, price is pumped. Uh, well, kettle close. 5%. That's, that's really good. That's good for Bitcoin perspective. I mean, have you seen the altcoins? Have you seen the altcoins? I'm talking Bitcoin right now, but that's like, the, this is the slow mover. You know what I mean? Um, yeah, I'm a big fan of um, EGLD pump pretty hard today. Uh, anyway, so now let me move on to other indicators here to really solidify my uh, stance as to why I'm bullish. Now, the four hour is in hot territory, very, very hot territory. So, um, oh, but also this, <laughs> once again, this is <laughs> Ethereum, my bad. Um, I'm in Bitcoin now. Okay, perfect. I'm in Bitcoin. On the four hour, on the intraday level, we're looking a little overheated. So my base case at this point, I wouldn't be surprised to see a back test of the exponential moving averages. Um, boom. The moving averages are right around here. Now it's not guaranteed by no means, but um, I would not be surprised to see a back test of like this level right here, uh, maybe even like right here at 19.8 at the very worst, 19.5. Uh, so if this is in fact the top for the foreseeable future, um, let me get, which I don't necessarily think so to be honest, but I'll play devil's advocate. I would see, I wouldn't like, I wouldn't mind seeing a back test at 19.79 or back test all the way down to 19.3 uh, uh, for a reset to then create a higher low to then continue to the upside. But my base case is very, very simple. I really do think that we are in um, an Adam and Eve pattern, a macro Adam and Eve pattern, where um, we could theoretically see price come all the way up to previous resistance, which is roughly around 24.5, break above it and actually kick off a new uptrend. But obviously this is a daily time frame perspective. Um, so it could take some time. But as you can see, my indicators are showing uh, key levels of support and resistance, but from this perspective on where we are at on the daily, um, let me just delete everything just so it's cleaner and everything like that, so there won't be any confusions. Um, on the daily chart, we have significant levels of support. Okay. We have multiple tiered levels. Each horizontal green line is a form of support, whether it's for wick based purposes or even candle close purposes. Um, but as you can see, it's a clean pump all the way up to roughly 23.7. Really, there's a lot of confluence at uh, 24.5, to be honest. If I'm going to be honest with you, this isn't financial advice, this is more so analysis. But let's be real here. Let's be real, real here. Um, as long as price is above 19.7, 19.8, um, you got to be bullish. Now, there could be some turbulence, wick action to the downside to back test it. Um, but ultimately, where I'm bullish at is the 9 exponential moving average and the 21 exponential moving average crossing up on the daily. Now, as long as these candles continue to stay above essentially 19.7 or even at, even at the low of 19.3, we're heading to the upside, like indefinitely. And given how my indicator is showing a clear sky up until 
23.7, 23 23.8. I, I mean, I, just, I can't be, I can't be bearish. I really can't. Um, obviously, I'm going to be practical, and I'm not just going to long right now. I'm going to wait. I'm going to wait for you know key positions. Uh, you know, I, I'm already in a long position. You know, I'm long Ethereum. Um, I have been pretty open about that. Um, and also, I am ready to. Uh, you know, take some profits and then migrate it into stable coins or whatever. Um, but yeah, I, like I said before, I cannot deny that this is pretty clear cut on the daily of uh, clear skies ahead. But also, once again, uh, key levels have to hold. And the bulls are not out of the woods just yet. Okay, I like it from a long-term perspective to feel safer uh, in regards to opening up a fresh long not financial advice right but like for my perspective I want to see a daily candle close above 20.3 and a back test of it as resistance sorry as support what was once resistance flips to support and then from there I feel comfortable riding this wave higher probably up to 22.37 and then once again wait for that back test and then boom all the way up and then from there i will i'll then assess where we're going because um, from a macro perspective unless we close above 24.5 um it's still downtrend it's still pretty much downtrend and um it could just you know get re get rejected off of 24.5 and then come all the way down and create a lower low back down to maybe the 16k or the 12k mark so even though it looks real juicy and real nice um right now from a from a pumpage standpoint you have to be practical and realize that until these local highs on the daily are knocked out um we can't continue moving forward but um, as you can see, the uh, 100 exponential moving average right here is losing its um, its uh, its um, strong diagonal to the downside. It's kind of like rolling out. It's kind of like slowly rounding out, which is a very good sign uh, in terms of uh, sentiment, price sentiment. We have yet to test this line here, and I don't think we're going to get that until around this area, which is around 24k. But once that's broken, it's just clear skies ahead. Um, pretty much, we have a long way to go. As you can see, my indicator is showing a lot of resistance lines, and it's going to be choppy. It's going to be a grind. But, you know, as honestly, as a speculative investor, I mean, you have a lot of time to accumulate still. Even if you didn't get these, like, wick bottoms at, like, 17K or whatever, 18K, like, you know, it's still a really good time to just dollar cost average as well. Like, that's never a bad idea, especially with a deflate. Uh, well, you could argue it's a deflationary asset, but uh, it's a fixed supply asset. Uh, it's never a wrong way to go from a macro level if you're looking at it from a macro perspective like beyond just a couple months investment anyway i'm gonna leave it at that i've been kind of going off on a tangent at this point but uh yeah base case is um bulls are kicking ass um you know i i said hey i'm bullish a couple days ago um not a lot of people believed me I posted on LinkedIn and I was getting some naysayers and stuff like that. I don't mind it. I like hearing other people's perspectives and opinions. Um, but yeah, at the same time, not going to lie, I am a competitive person and uh, I'm kind of liking that uh, my thesis was on the right side from an analytical standpoint. But yeah, I'll leave it off at that. Um, basically, this daily candle is huge. Literally, it's huge, but also figuratively, it's huge. Um, 
Uh, let me turn off my indicators and just give you a better assessment really, really quick on everything here. Um, if you want to simplify it on the daily perspective, we have a bullish engulfing candle support right here, 19.3. Now we have bearish resistance at 20.3. All right. We could get we could get stuck in this range for a couple days. It's not guaranteed that price is going to break out today, tomorrow, next couple days. But you know the lines in the sand. You cannot deny that. If you see a daily candle close above 20.3, then rejoice. We're probably looking at an uptrend here, continuation of an uptrend. Now, if you see a breakdown of 19.3, um I would be very, very cautious because you're nullifying a bullish engulfing candle. That, and usually when bullish engulfing candles are nullified, uh, it indicates a strong, 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 strong trend to the downside. Um, but ultimately, the line in the sand, frankly, is right here. This is danger zone. Basically, the psychological level at 19,000. If we lose 19,000, we break this upward trend. We break that trend. So uh, I would consider this a supply line, right? I would expect price to eventually come back to this level at some point and test it. So I, I want to keep my eye on uh, this supply line. And uh, I don't know, probably put some limit orders within this range here somewhere, maybe around here, I don't know. But anyway, um, I'll leave it at that. I just want to say thank you so much for taking the time. If you haven't already, please like and share this video with your friends if you think this information is fruitful enough and of uh, value. But yeah, let me know what you think in the comment section below. Like, uh, do you think we're going to break to the upside finally? Do you think we're going to break to support after this rejection? Uh, what's your perspective on the matter? I'd love to hear it. Um, but yeah, take care. Have a great rest of the day. And bye. Have a good one. Bye.